Hi friends, in this video we are going to talk about what is Grafana, why should you use Grafana, what are the main components of Grafana dashboard and we are also going to see some demo Grafana dashboards so that you can get a feel of how a Grafana dashboard looks like. Alright, what is Grafana? So Grafana is a data visualization, analytics and alerting platform. You can create this using dashboards in Grafana. So this is the snapshot of an example dashboard in Grafana. Why would you use Grafana? Grafana can be used to visualize data from multiple data sources in a single platform. So if you have your data located in multiple types of databases in multiple places, you can use Grafana to connect to those data sources and create visualizations in a single platform. Another use case is you might want to create dashboards that update in real time for real time monitoring or situational awareness of a system. Grafana dashboards can be configured to update in real time. And another use case is generate real time alerts by continuously monitoring the data from data sources. In Grafana, you can set alerts on the data which you are showing in the dashboard. Suppose you are visualizing the memory of a CPU. You can configure an alert in Grafana to create notification when a memory crosses a threshold utilization. Another use case is enabling users without coding skills to build, share and collaborate visualizations and dashboards in a central server. Once you configure the panels and data sources in Grafana, creating dashboards doesn't require any coding. So users can build their own dashboards to explore the data. And since Grafana is installed in a central server and dashboards are stored in a central server, all you need is just a browser to see the Grafana dashboards. And one more use case is you might want to set up an interactive data exploration and analytics platform for your users. Since people can create dashboards just by dragging and dropping panels, people can easily interact with their data and explore the data and perform analytics on their data. And another use case might be, you want to deploy an open source data analytics platform to avoid licensing costs. Grafana is open source, so you can freely use Grafana in your system. All right, we've talked about what might be the use cases of using Grafana. Now let's see what are the components of a Grafana dashboard. So in a Grafana dashboard, you have panels, data sources, plugins, transformations and alerts. Let's try to explain what these are from the Grafana's official documentation. So what are panels? Panels are basically the cells in the dashboard where the data is being displayed. So you might have a line graph, bar graph, heat map, etc. All these are panels. And the next part is the data source plugins. Panels get data from the data source plugins. So you can have plugins like MySQL, Postgres, Elasticsearch, MongoDB, even Google Sheets. So you can have multiple data source plugins and panels use these data source plugins to get the data and visualize them in the panels. Just like data source plugins, you can also have visualization plugins. That means if Grafana doesn't have your required visualization out of the box, you can search in the open source for your required visualization plugin and you can just install that in your Grafana. So plugins can be used to extend your data sources and panels in Grafana from third party or you can even develop your own plugin which is a data source or a panel. And the next component is transformations. Using transformations, you can modify the data before visualizing in the panels. Suppose you have two measurements and you actually want to show the sum of those two measurements in the panel. So you can do that using transformations. So transformations can be used in Grafana to transform the data before they are plotted in the panels. And the next important component is alerts. So you can set alerts in Grafana to create notifications when they meet the user defined thresholds. All right, we have seen what are the components of a Grafana dashboard. Let's try to see them in action. So Grafana provides us this excellent playground called play.grafana.org. So just go to play.grafana.org and you can see some amazing demo dashboards. So this is a live Grafana dashboard which is hosted for demo purposes to play with. So here is a panel which is showing some line pods which are stacked one above the other. And here is also another panel which is showing some memory and CPU usage. And this is a panel which is showing some histograms which are stacked. This is also a panel showing line series. This is also a panel showing some line series data. So this whole thing is a dashboard which is created in Grafana. Let's try to see how the data is coming to this panel. You can click on these three dots, click on the edit, and here in the query section, you are defining each graph as a query. Here, they are using a graphite data source. 
in your case it might be a postgres sql data source or a mysql data source or some elastic search etc you need to configure a data source and use it in your panels let's try to see where the data source is configured in this grafana dashboard you can go to this hamburger icon and you can see connections data sources and here there are many data sources in your grafana dashboards you can go to the data sources section like this to create your own data sources from sources like postgres elastic search etc grafana supports many types of data sources as you can see here all right let's go to play.grafana.org again so this is the demo dashboard we have seen this panel and we have gone to the edit tab and we have seen the data source also being used the next thing is alerts here you can see there is an alert tab and here you can create an alert rule in your grafana dashboard in this panel editing screen you can see at the right there are a lot of options to tweak the appearance of this panel let's try to increase the line width and the line width has increased let's try to decrease the fill opacity you can see the opacity is being changed you can even see line styles and there are a lot of options using which you can change the appearance of the axis plot legend etc there are a lot of options and you can even search the options here let's try to see the legend option so i'm going to type legend and you can see a lot of legend options and you can even make the legend to be placed at the right side so this way there are a lot of options for tweaking the appearance of a panel all right let's go to the dashboard again and there are a lot of demo dashboards given in the play.grafana.org currently we have seen time series data here let's try to see some other type of visualizations let's try to see this bar charts and pie charts so you can even do visualizations like this in grafana let's try to see how they made this donut chart so click on this menu click on edit and you can see the visualization type is pie chart actually you can change this to time series also obviously the data is not compatible you can even make this look like a table you can see the data here and you can even make this look like a gauge you can make this look like a pie chart again so this way you can create multiple types of visualizations in a panel again in the play.grafana.org let's try to see some other types of visualizations we are seeing some gauges let's try to go to the gauges and here we are seeing some bar charts gauges some kind of dashboard style of visualizations so there are a lot of visualizations possible in grafana and you don't need to do any coding we also told that you can update your plots in real time you can see there is this auto refresh interval where we have set it for 10 seconds you can even make it to refresh at 5 seconds or 1 minute so your visualization will be refreshed every 1 minute you can easily change the time also for example we are showing the data for the last 6 hours let's say to click on this here and you can just change the time range you can make it for the last 6 months you can make it to so for the last 1 hour or else you can do some absolute time something like this like 18th November to something like 25th November and apply the time range so this way you can even give some absolute time range to be visualized in grafana and since this grafana dashboard is hosted on a server you just need a browser like this in this example to view the dashboards and since it's centrally hosted in a server all the people in your organization can just access this dashboards in the browser and they can collaborate on this you can even create users in grafana and give the rights to actually restrict the access to the dashboards that means you can create read only dashboards so that users can only see the dashboards and they can't edit them all right let's talk about transformations in grafana let's try to take this simple plot let's try to edit this and here you have a tab called transform data let's try to go to this tab and here i have a lot of transformations that i can do here you know just for fun let's try to show the value which is two times the cpu usage so here the red plot is the cpu plot let's try to do something and multiply the cpu values with by 2 and show it here so i can choose a transformation here i think i can use the add field from calculation i will just click on this transformation and i can say the mode to binary operation and the operation is obviously on cpu and the operation is multiplied by i can even multiply by time or some other fields i'll just multiply it with the number 2 the alias would be cpu star 2 or whatever you want new cpu usage you can see I've got a new field called new CPU usage. Let's try to show this new CPU usage or else let's try to click control and show these two attributes here. So I'm seeing the memory and the new CPU usage. This new CPU usage is derived by multiplying two to this CPU usage. So I've did a simple transformation here. So this way you can create transformations 
on your existing data to derive new data let's try to delete this transformation delete and that's it your transformation is removed so there are a lot of transformation options like add field from calculation concatenate fields convert field type and a lot so that's it guys this is a small introduction to grafana dashboards so if you want to get a feel of grafana dashboards just go to play.grafana.org and you can get to play with some sample grafana dashboards i have created a blog post for this video and in that blog post i have given you the links to the grafana documentation and the grafana playground so be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video in this video we have covered an introduction to grafana in the later videos we will try to install grafana in windows so stay tuned please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching peace